Happy Sunday, everybody. To my returning subscribers, 99.9% uh, .9 of you are probably into the Hot Wheels thing. I will have another video up definitely next weekend. I'll try to get one up this evening, but it's highly unlikely. Just ran out of time, and I'll be out of town for three days next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so it'll probably be next week. In the meantime, we're going to have another little drone review. And just like the other drone, this was sent to me to review as a promotional item. So it's actually a promotional item. I'm not getting paid for it or anything. They're just giving me this, saying, hey, here you are. If you can make a video on it, that's great. And we want an unbiased opinion. And since I don't really know a whole lot about drones, we're going to kind of go through the manual here. But you can see it's a 6-axis gyro, 2.4 gigahertz. So... This gives you a rundown of everything that it does. Now when you first unbox the drone, it comes assembled, but it doesn't come with the guards on here or the feet. The feet just simply snap in place. These guards are held by a little tiny screw right there. So there's four of those, and then the two or the four feet, and you're all set. Now you don't really need to put those on. Actually, I flew this without the guards or the feet on because you've got these little bumpers here which are lights that light up that you can land on just fine. You get your charging cable which plugs into any USB adapter directly into the battery and we'll actually get to that in a little bit. You get the remote which a lot of these lower priced drones do not come with a remote so there's an added bonus right there. And you get some spare parts. You get one of each propeller or blade whatever you want to call it. You also get a small bag of screws, which I seem to have misplaced, and then you get the caps for the blades. There's four of them. Now, I'm not going to take these blade guards back off, but one thing to note, the screw is very, very, very tiny. Luckily, I found a small screwdriver that I had for repairing an iPhone or something that was able to get them but they're really tiny. There's a good chance you will not have a screwdriver this small lying around. Speaking of a small screw, the battery compartment is held by a tiny screw, which I've already lost. As soon as I took it apart, I, I lost it. Now, it does come with an extra bag of screws, probably for that, but you would unscrew the screw, slide it down, and remove the battery, which if you do not have the small screwdriver, so even if you didn't want to put these bumpers on, you're not going to be able to get to the battery without a really small Phillips screwdriver in order to charge it, which leads me to my one complaint thus far. So in order to charge the battery, you're going to have to open it up and remove the lithium battery, which I've got pretty well jammed in there. Unplug it and plug it into that charging cable that I showed you. There's no way that I see, unless I'm totally blind, to charge it without removing the battery. This is for the camera. So that's not a charging jack, that's for the video. That's it. I'm just gonna leave the screw out, and if I happen to get into a crash and it pops it open, well, I'm just gonna have to cross that bridge when I get there. And while we're looking at the bottom of the drone, why not mention the camera? There is a camera right there with a micro SD slot. Now, it does not come with a micro SD card. I've got one installed, but there it is. I'm not sure the megapixels, I did not see it anywhere in the manual but maybe it will say on their website, which I will link below for detailed specs. And you've got your on off button right here. It's a tiny little toggle. You turn it on, you get some fun lights, and we'll just turn it back off for now. We'll go ahead and take a look at the remote. And as mentioned previously, I'm no drone expert. This is the second one I've ever dealt with. So I'm gonna to have to kind of look at the manual while I go over these controls. So if I goof up, I apologize. But uh, if you get one, you could read the manual yourself. So right here is up and down, right and left. This is your direction mode, down for headless mode. Then over here you've got a, actually this button at the top here is your photographs or videos. It just says photographic video. So hopefully that just takes video up there. I don't see one that just takes a picture. And then right here is your light control return key. And then your forward and backward trimmer, actually up and down, and then these are fine tuning right here and of course this is your power button right there. Up here this just says the defeat the default <laughs> told you I'd fumble the default is low speed and it doesn't really say anything else about it so I'm not sure. In the back of the remote you've got your battery compartment with another screw. Now this one is not quite as small as those other ones. It should be a number one Phillips head screwdriver work just fine. You will not need this little tiny guy. 
and it does take four AA batteries. Now that I've shown you what's included, we're going to go shoot some video. Now I did fly this in my basement. I have not flown this outside yet. We're actually going to fly it outside. I'm going to try to film some on this camera. I do not have a wide angle lens for this camera, so I'm not sure what I'll catch. But we're definitely going to try to use the onboard camera by hopefully pushing this button that it says to. I haven't tested it out yet, so this will be a complete trial run. It's going to be probably some quick footage because I'm not really that great at flying these. Now, one thing I did notice about this E33 versus the last one that we reviewed, aside from it being a little bit larger, is it is faster. It goes up in a hurry, and I think it'll be more stable outside, which the other one wasn't bad. But this one seems a little bit easier to control. Maybe that's due to the six axis. I don't know. Again, I'm newbie to drones, so... Let's see what she does. I gotta go find the drone. As soon as it gets past my shed right here, I was standing right about at, near my patio at my house right there. As soon as it gets past the shed here, it goes to the neighbor's yard and it loses control. And it just, it, it, no functionality at all. Up, down, right, left. And it actually went to the golf course over here, into the weeds, I believe. So we're gonna go find it. Hopefully, if we don't, then uh, you won't see any more footage of this thing. Unfortunately, I had the SD card in there because I wanted to take it out again because I realized the top button is just photo, the bottom button is video, and I wanted to get some video. I had some flips and some other things on there, and then uh, she went haywire. So I got to pop this little fence right here. People out golfing right now, they may get mad, but we'll see. See if we can find it in these weeds back here. Pretty sure that's where it went. All right, so no luck finding the drone. Um, We'll go ahead and do a recap of the uh, what I thought of it. I'm going to get back into the shop here. I'm actually filming in the garage today. So it's about 84 degrees. A little hot out, but I wanted to be outside. So almost back to the house. And we'll see you in a bit. And we're back. This is what we have left of the drone. The most disappointing thing about this whole thing is I lost my SD card. The drone, it was free promotional, you know, all that. I could live without it. I never paid for it. But the SD card was $20, even though it was a micro SD, it was $20. It was a high definition, pretty large capacity. So it's gone forever. So not everything's free. We actually lost money on this little promotional thing, unfortunately. Um, close flight, like 50 feet or less, this thing is awesome. I don't know if you'll catch it on my eyes. I actually filmed on my iPhone. Uh, that a lot of the footage you saw, actually most of it, if, if I caught any of it in flight, I'm not sure I haven't uploaded the video yet, but uh, I got three or four really cool flips and it was really cool. I mean, it, it, it was awesome. Now, what I did notice even more so, the first time I lost it is I did a flip and then it just went haywire. I tried all the buttons, couldn't get it to do anything. Uh, it just would not come back to me at all. And that's when it went into the neighbor's yard and wrecked into a little statue. The second time, did some flips, it was fine. Brought it up a little bit, and then I noticed it started going away. It was about 50 feet in distance, but it was probably uh, 50 feet up in the air at that point, and it just kept on going, and then it would just sit there, and I'm running towards it, and it just would not, nothing would happen. It just would not respond to anything. Now, one thing I did notice is a couple of times after I crashed, this would lose connection. So I would sit there and you're supposed to let it sit for a certain amount of time for it to resync or whatever. It would not resync. I'd turn them both on, let them sit for about three minutes. They would not resync. It was like after three or four times, they finally 
would resync. So I'm not sure if this one had a connectivity issue. Maybe it did. Maybe that's why it went crazy. But all in all, I mean, if it hadn't had that issue, I like this one a lot better than the other one because it seems to be faster. The flips actually worked on this one. They didn't work on my other one. And uh, I did, well, no, I don't have the SD card. Um, I did get some pretty good photos, but they're gone with the drone. And they were actually a little bit better quality than the other one that I reviewed. The video, I don't know. That last run was for video, and it's forever gone. It'll probably get ran over by a mower one day when they cut down all those weeds or whatever between the properties and the golf course. So I can't, I can't really knock it, but I can't really recommend it at the same time. I may have just gotten a dud. Again, if, if you keep it really, really close, like I had it in the basement, it was perfect. If I kept it close outside, it was perfect. It's not windy outside at all today. There's like zero wind. So I can't blame it on the wind. It just would not respond when it got a little, when it got past that shed, it would not respond at all. It just went haywire. So if you still are interested in this drone, check out the links below. I'll have a link to Amazon where you can purchase this. And I'll have a link to the other drone that I reviewed, which I still have, thank goodness. Um, that one I took a, the same amount of distance and it, it did not, uh, I didn't lose it. So hopefully that little guy will stay with me for a long time. This one probably has a better manual. Now, one thing I'm not sure if I mentioned, the up button is for photo, the down button is for video. I didn't discover that until I came in and, and looked at some photos real quick or looked at the SD card before that disaster flight and I saw I had a bunch of pictures. So then I'm like, hmm, well, down must mean photo. And of course it did. It just says photographic video. It doesn't say up or down, what does what. So this manual is better, but it's still not perfect. So that's it. So you can hear the birds are chirping. It's beautiful outside. It's 11:24 uh, in the morning. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.